I think it's um, very a lot of information that I didn't know very much about how the scientific world collects this information, how important it is, and the different levels of uh, permafrost there is and stuff like that. So it, I find that very, very interesting as I uh, go through the uh, information session uh, at, the, at this uh What I want to take with it is, I guess, understand what permafrost is about and how it affects us as uh, Inuvalid. I'm an Inuvalid from the Inuvik uh, area, which is uh, in Canada. And we have a, a settlement, um, Inuvalid final agreement that was a, a land claim agreement. And under that agreement, we have to manage our own resources. So back home, we manage the wildlife, uh, the, the habitat, and, and stuff like that. So, But coming here, it opened my eyes to saying that permafrost is a very, very important um, um, subject because you know everybody in the circumpolar region is dealing with climate change, and we have to understand how permafrost can affect the wildlife, uh, the habitat, and the culture of the people. So the, the really, it gives me um, um, my mind wide open to this now. So I gotta bring that back home. When I hear permafrost, it, it, like permafrost is something that is, it holds the ground together, it holds the vegetation together and stuff like that. And then when you hear permafrost in a, in a, in a, in a climate warming thing, it, it, it's scary because that's the foundation. You know, once you lose that foundation, everything goes with it. And that's why I'm saying, like, back home we manage the wildlife, the habitat, and the culture. And permafrost is not there, so we have to make it a priority to understand it more better because if, if the permafrost takes away those elements of uh, what we live on, then our culture and identity is going to go with it too. So we, 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 we must play that management role uh, very seriously in the future for, for the next generation. I mean, there's so much information that in a small community, we're not tied to the industrial part of the, the world and stuff like that, but we hear it on, on, on the news, you know, over the media and stuff like that. Um, how can we deal with it in a homeland? It, 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 it's hard because, I mean, we get the climate warmth and we get all this ice changes and stuff like that, and we, we read it, but we used to read it. But now in the last few years, even the elders are having a hard time uh, predicting what kind of um, um, weather we're going to have because with this global uh, glo uh, global warming stuff, it just changes everything. I think, you know, and uh, that's what we, our, our agenda is going to be. I think we have to change our agenda on, on, on this whole um, phenomenon of uh, climate change because it affects everyone within the circ circumpolar region. And, our decisions, our way we manage our and our homeland can affect another another circumpolar region. And we have to, you know, widen our, um, our our learning abilities and our understanding. So in the circumpolar world, we all share that that information because everybody is affected one way or the other by this uh, climate change and permafrost melting. So I think that's that's our job is to understand it more and then work with the scientific researchers and, and, and um, work with that with our traditional knowledge which we have at home and combine those two and then I think once we, we do that then uh, we'll, we'll play an uh, important role in making the decisions in the future. Because our, our, our work is on the Herschel Island uh, Territorial Park, Kip Darup we call it. And um, we have researchers coming into the park each and every year. And we have four rangers that's employed. And every year they're involved with the, the, the research team, understanding it and knowing what they're doing. And that's very positive because they're young people too. They're the next generation that's going to be taken over in management in the future. So they're, they're learning why the, the researchers are there and learning what they're studying on, on, on the island. And then in turn, they bring that back into the community as uh, uh, interpreters of research on Herschel. 
And I think that's, that's the beginning of this new era is uh, learning and understanding through our youth and then letting them interpret that back to, to the landowners like the elders in that back home saying that there is um, something here that we need to look seriously at and take uh, very seriously. So first of all, I think it's uh, 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 very important for, for the Inuval because it's been there for generations and gener generations and now there's a new wave of, uh, of change coming and we have to be ready for it.